everyone, my name is Python and welcome back once again to another episode of Calamity Death Mode, my friends. We're on the 11th episode and once again a massive thank you for the support in the last episode, reaching well over 1,500 likes, which is insane. And obviously guys, if we can keep up with the 1,000 likes per episode, I will continue to do this on a daily basis throughout the weekdays. So yes, but anyways guys, a lot of things have happened since the last episode. Well, two major things, one of which is the Dryad has now arrived. The second is the first of the alchemist NPCs have arrived. You may notice down here, I converted it into a bit of a house, but we still have a bunch of storage going on here. I mean, we don't need that much storage anymore, as you guys were correctly pointing out, because of course we have a storage system. And talking of the storage system, it might be a nice idea if we went ahead and used the demonite that we got in the last episode to upgrade stuffs, right? So let's put the fallen star in there. I've also added in a bottle to the crafting stations. Obviously, once we have ourselves an alchemy table later on in the game, we could put that in there in place of the bottle, and obviously we'll have a chance of not using potion ingredients. So, if I was to search magic storage, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Demonite storage upgrade is a material and upgrades storage unit to 80 capacity. Right click a storage unit to use. Now look at this. I can actually make two of them because I've got 20 demonite bars. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Right, where did it go? Where is it? Where are you, buddy? Aha! Right, so how does this work? Do I just, like, directly right click on it? Boop! <gasps> oh! Oh, it worked! It now has 80 items. Okay, so what if I do it here? So it says out of 200 items, uh, let's put one in here. 240 items! Oh my word, dude, this is insane. Wow. Guys, I could actually go ahead and just put every single thing I own in the game inside this thing. Well, I'm thinking everything aside from things like weapons. I think weapons should still be in their own sort of chests. But things that can be combined and all that kind of stuff. Like, uh, we've got all these potions here. Accessories. These can be combined once we eventually get a tinker table to chuck in here. So, you know, we've got a lot of things. We've got a lot of things going on, guys. We really, really do. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode because uh, today we're going to be hopefully... Ooh! Catching a gold swirrel. Not bad, if you ask me. Ooh. Thank you. Much appreciated, sir. Right, there you go. Aha! Oh, mate, I love it. I love it, man. I love it when I capture golden critters. I've captured so many of them in this series so far. It's actually kind of bonkers. Right, there was a bunch more accessories in this, so let's grab all of you. In fact, I should be able to just use the deposit all function. Boop! There we go. Because uh, everything that I want in my inventory is favorited, anything that isn't, I can just chuck in there. But guys, check this out. I think this may be... Yeah, there you go. Look at this. Uh, Goblin Battle Standard. I don't know if this is part of the IMK Sushi mod, but you can actually craft it a lot easier now. So instead of using tattered cloth and having to farm out the Goblin Scouts at the edge of the world, you can now just use silk, which is really, really cool. Although it looks like you have to specifically use Boreal Wood. Which is interesting, but you know what? That's not too much of a heartache because, you know, we have the ability to do that. In fact, I believe all of our uh, cobwebs are in here. Cobweb, because it is a potion material. Yeah, there we go. So if I grab that out, and then if I grab out... Well, I, well not grab out as such, more, uh, you know, grab some Borea wood. Maybe not from here, but maybe from, like, here or so. Sounds like a cool idea to me. There we go. And literally just one tree is all we need, I do believe. So, yeah. All right, guys. We're going to make ourselves a goblin army summoner. And then, I mean, I guess away we go from there. Right. Now, then, do we have a loom? Is there a loom inside that crafting station? If there isn't, then I should probably get one and put it in there. Yeah, I should probably get one. Right. Oh, loomy. Loomy? There's a living loom. Aha! That's the proper loom. Good day to you, sir. I'm going to grab you. I'm also going to grab the bookcase. And also the living room, because then I can craft all sorts, right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, boom. So one, two, three. And now I should be able to make myself an absolute ton of stuff. So if I start searching goblin, uh, wait, what? Battle. Oh, wait, I need to put that. I'm being a dumb dumb. That needs to go back in there. And now we can start looking for it. The battle standard. Or, or, or more to the point, we need to, we need to put that in there as well. And now we can look for the goblin, goblin battle standard. Wait, what? Loom. We can put the Borealis wood in there. Oh, we need to convert into silk. I'll tell you something, man. I've been playing this game for a long time. And yet, you'd, you'd think I haven't been. You'd think I haven't been. Is there like an easy way of just chucking it into the thing without having to go out and then back in again? 
Like, to me, it sounds like that'd be a cool idea. But anyways, guys, there's the Goblin Battle Standard. All is looking good. And, uh, yeah, I imagine there's going to be a lot of deaths added to the death count today because death mode is kind of insane, as we've noticed so far with the Ive Cthulhu and all the other bosses. So, yeah. Yeah, I think this is going to get a little bit insane, dudes. Right, uh, health potion. Health potion? Yeah, there we go. Healing potion. That's what I want. Uh, just like nine of them should do the job quite nicely. Uh, do you know what? For the sake of safety, let's go for a little bit more. Fantastic. All right, boys. So, yeah, I mean, everything's looking good. We've got, we've got a bunch of NPCs. We'll go ahead and check out what this guy is selling down here. Uh, what have you got there, sir? Bottles, bottled water, and a few potion ingredients here and there. And also some uh, IMK Sushi summoning potions. We can summon a meteorite. What the crap? Angler Amnesia Potion, Base Summoning Potion, Gender Change, Recall, Wormhole, Resurrection Potion. So if we die, we can just get back to where we were. That sounds like a cool idea. One, two, three, four, five. I I'm, I'm going to grab a few of them. They might come in useful later on in the series, especially when it comes to Wall of Flesh. I mean, the Wall of Flesh doesn't necessarily despawn as soon as you die, right? It just sort of, you know, it carries on. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go and get some potions together. And we are going to try the Death Mode Goblin Invasion. Because I'd really like the Goblin Tinkerer so he can get the Tinker Table and the ability to fly with some Spectre Boots. Ah, freaking yeah, guys. Let's do this thing. Alrighty, guys. Daytime has indeed rolled around. And I'm currently in the process of trying to protect all of my NPCs. If all of you could, like, get inside your respective houses, that would be fan dabba -dozy. Then I can, like, actually sort of protect you guys. You dumb dums. Right, boop. Uh, nope, that penguin is in the way. You're gonna have to move that, buddy. I'm gonna have to kill you. There you go. You had your chance, and there you go. Good man. Good stuff. Right, well, do you know what? If people aren't gonna get in their freaking houses, then they're just a bunch of massive dum dums. And, well, I mean, if they respawn, that's totally fine, I guess. Ugh. I don't even know why I'm doing this, in which case. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even doing this, in which case. I should have done this at night, man, while everybody was in their houses, bro. Ugh, oh, jeez. Right, boop, and a boop, and a boop. Okay, the goblin army is approaching. Okay, well, uh, now we wait uh, about 500 years for things to happen, and then, yeah, we'll actually get on with this thing, guys. Oh, mate, I'm nervous. I'm actually kind of nervous. I would like myself some more musket balls. More musket balls would be very, very nice. Uh, yep, there we go. Maybe convert a bunch of it into like, uh, like, oh, what's it called? Uh, silver balls. Silver bullets, you know, all that kind of stuff. Tungsten. Although we need to get back in here to do that, don't we? Oh, good God. All right, boom. There we go. Into the storage system. We are looking for tungsten. Lots and lots are here. So if I now go into here, we can make ourselves some tungsten bullets. Yeah. The more the better. There we go. 980. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, boys. It is time to merc some goblins. Oh, baby. Not bad. Not bad. The coral spout is definitely doing the job for taking down people on the floor, huh? <laughs> Brilliant. Come on, boys. The more people on the floor, the more people I can actually take on and, uh, you know, have a decent chance of killing. There we go. Look at that, man. All right, man. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, there's a little dog over to the right hand side. But, oh, hello. Hi. I don't even know how you managed to get in here. But, you know, weirder things have happened, haven't they? Get wrecked, you freaking bunch of butts. <laughs> Mate, the cobble spam might just be the savior of the day, my friends. I mean, look at the look at the damage it does. It's rather nice to see. It has to be said. Go on. Awful goblin archer. Yeah, you got the aim of a stormtrooper. That's how awful you are. Ha. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, there's a giant dude there. What? Come on, then, man. Come on. Hey, I wonder if the... I wonder if death mode makes events last longer. That'd be quite interesting to know, because, uh, well, at the moment, yeah, I don't really know, so, yeah. Well, I mean, at the very least, what should happen is... Oh, that guy's legendary? Good God. He almost killed me. That's not how we roll, man. Leave me alone, sir. Ow. Ow. No, 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 no. Okay, well, apparently we're no longer doing battle in the town. We have taken the battle to the outskirts. Get wrecked, you freaking butt. Ha! Huh. Go on. Go on. I don't even know why these guys are trying legit. I really don't know. 42%. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that death mode, I don't think, makes events last longer. Like, I think it's still the same amount of enemies you have to take down in order for the event to be complete. I could be completely wrong. I could be uh, a complete spoon, which, you know, kind of makes sense, I guess. There you go. Get absolutely destroyed. Go on. Get absolutely bambooed. Ow. Why you do this, man? 
Hello. Oh. No. Oh. Hello. Go on. Get wrecked. Oh, these guys. What? Ow. Stop it. I would really like to not die. Well, I was kind of thinking that my death camp would go through the roof, but as a matter of fact, it just kind of hasn't. <laughs> I, I mean, no complaints, you know what I'm saying? No complaints whatsoever. Although these guys need to die. Go on, get out of here, you bunch of ranger buttheads. Go on. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, there's a lot of rangers over here, man. I'm not about this life. Go on. Oh, these guys need to die, bro. Go on. The mini shark at range leaves a lot to be desired in terms of uh, accuracy. Hello. Oh, no. Careful, careful, careful. There's a goblin dude. Oh, my word. There's a goblin dude. There's goblin dudes everywhere. What the hell am I on about? <laughs> being a noob. I'm being a noobie idiot brain. Come on, man. We're nearly done with this thing. Three quarters of the way through. Honestly, this has been a little bit underwhelming for death mode. I mean, if this was actually... I don't know, man. I feel like this should have been earlier in the progression if the enemies are this easy. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But it, it just seems very... Uh, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> A mythical goblin sorcerer has been taken out the- Oh, you son of a- He's taking my coinage! Oi! You lot! You bunch of fool- Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I need to get over there. Quick, sharp. Quick, 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 quick. Ah, so many obstacles! The town is just a massive obstacle course. Come on. Come on. I want my money back, man. Where's my money? Where's my- I feel like Stewie Griffin right now. Where's my money, man? Oh, goodness me. Well, I think I may have just lost like an absolute ton of money. Although, then again... Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. That's 14 gold coins. Maybe I didn't lose it all. We've lost the painter. But you know what? I don't think I actually care. I'm sorry, painter, but you're like one of the least useful NPCs in the game. Like, I'd rather have that spot reserved for someone like a, I don't know, a witch doctor or another alchemist NPC dude. You know what I'm saying? There's definitely better people to have a space for. Oh, good day. Goblin thief. Yeah, what a freaking jerk. Go on, get out of here. There we go. Hey, man, we've almost got we've almost got this thing under wraps. Come on. There we go. We've got the war blade. I can't remember if that thing's fully auto or not. Because it's been a while since I've had it, admittedly. Go on. Goblin army has been taken out of the game. There's a couple more people left. And that is literally it. Hey, there's a harpoon down there. Hey, don't mind if I do, man. Not bad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the goblin invasion. Like I say, oh, what the hell? Whoa, that guy was massive. Yeah, well, I mean, we only lost one NPC, which, I mean, there's definitely worse things to cry about, isn't it? Dude, what is with all of these doors? All these doors are broken off. Who done broke the doors? Who's vandalizing my vi- Oh, there's a paint gun. There's a paint gun here. <laughs> oh, man. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever unironically used the paint gun, like, at all, ever, in the history of me playing this game. I mean, I just don't think there's any use for it in the game, really. 13 range damage. Although, I don't think... Hmm. I don't... Oh, speed blaster? What? Does it actually... It doesn't use ammo. Maybe that's the spiel with it. The good spiel with it, you know? It doesn't use any ammo whatsoever. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. That was the goblin army. Now, do we have a way of, like, forcing in a goblin spawn? Uh, spiky balls and a base summoning potion. Dudes, we can do that literally right now. Let's go to this guy. We're going to buy ourselves a base summoning potion. And then we have all of the spiky balls here. Uh, so if I find myself a crafting table with one of these on, I should be able to get this thing, right? Goblin tinkerer. Boop! Goblin tinkerer has awoken! Right, where's, where is he awoken, though? Oh, he's over there. Oh, he's called Grodax. Okay, cool, man. <laughs> oh, mate. I'm Keisushi Mud. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant stuff, man. Brilliant stuff. That guy's a genius. Ah, oh, there we go. Warblade. 36 melee damage. Wow. That's a lot more than the Arcalis, man. I'm kind of... Oh, wait. Hang on. What's this used for? It is used... It's upgraded for something. We've got the Jewel Poon. Requires 10 souls of might. And we've got the Tri Ploon. Which requires ectoplasm. Interesting. Is this thing a... Nope, it's not a upgradable thing. Okay, fantastic. Wow, that's pretty cool. But I'm kind of tempted to keep the war blade on us for the simple fact that it does do a fairly decent amount of damage. I mean, especially if we get ourselves like a good reforge on it. A fully auto decent weapon like this, you know, it could go a long way. It could go a long way. 
Anyways, guys, let's do this thing. We can summon in another goblin army now without even having to create the freaking summoner. We've got the rocket boots. We've got ourselves the tinkerer's workshop. Uh, uh, why not? Let's buy the tool belt as well because, like I say, uh, well, I think I said earlier in the series, I want to try and make, like, the ultimate building accessories so I can really get into the building stuffs in the series. I think that would be a nice idea. So, rocket boots and then the tinkerer's workshop, of course, will go in here. Right, now then, uh, is there like an easy way, like filter equipment? Filter equipment, yeah, there we go. So we got emerald hook, we've got the climbing claws. Uh, what is here that can be converted? If I put that in the storage, like there's no, there doesn't appear to be like an easy way to just take stuff off and put it in here. I, I might be missing out something incredibly obvious, but I don't know. Anyways, mana regeneration ban, let's do it my friends. Yeah. Wait, where did it go? Oh, it's in here somewhere. Uh, okay. We have the Obsidian Skull. Magic Cuffs. Yep. Why not? That's pretty damn useful. We've got the Spectre Boots. What else have we got? I mean, not a lot. Maybe there's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, if I take all of this stuff off and then put it in the crafting, maybe I can, like, combine a bunch of stuff, right? I mean, it might happen. We might get some cool stuff come of it. Okay, so what else have we got? Obsidian Water Walking Boots. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, but aside from that, not really anything. The lava waders eventually, I think, uh, is something that's used for the eventual super accessory or something like that. Uh, filter equipment. So, we have ourselves the obsidian water walking boots. What is this made in... God damn it. Obsidian water walking boots. This can be made into lava waders and... Oh, actually, I could make that right now. <laughs> lava waders. All right, come on, man. Lava waders. There they are. Oh, mate. Oh, it's been such a long time since I've had lava waders. It really is. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. And this thing, I do believe, is... Yep, there we go. Made into angel treads eventually. So that is fantastic. Let's get you put on there. Uh, what else have we got in here? The counter scarf was really useful. The ancient fossil. We'll probably... Oh. We'll probably put that on our, like, social. We've got the magic cups. That'll be useful just in a general sense. The immediate spark, of course, very useful as well. And the crawl carapace. Uh, did we create anything combined but not use it? Spectre boots? Ooh. That's a good point, actually. Spectre boots, magic cuffs. I mean, I could potentially, like, switch to a bit of a mage setup if I really wanted to. Like, I don't know if I've got enough, but I could potentially make myself uh, some cool armor bits, right? Filter equipment. Boop. Uh, recipes. Do I have the ability to... No. Okay, fair enough. Right, I'm going to go and open these bad boys. We've got ourselves a Shadow Orb and three more Amber. Very, very nice. Can I... Is this... Can I, like, quick stack this stuff in here? I don't think I can. Hmm. A little bit disappointing. Oh, well. Guys, we're looking good. Look at the accessories we have now. Lava waders and Spectre boots and all sorts of awesome stuff. The Goblin Tinkerer has indeed moved in. Let's get ourselves some reforges going on here, my friends. 16 gold. Okay. Spiked is a good start. Angry is a good one. Arcane magic cuffs. Maybe something better. Lucky's kind of nice. Wild, fleeting, hard, jagged, violent. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. There we go. That's more like it. Immediate spark. Come on. Wow, that only costs like 33 silver. That's pretty insane. And armor. There we go, guys. Look at this. And of course, we can reforge our armor as well to get even more defense. That sounds like a cool idea, actually. Arcane, hasty, arcane, hasty, quick, hard. Oh, come on, man. We're looking for like, like defense increasing stuffs. Angry? Nah. I'd literally just want defense. Just plain old, good old-fashioned defense. There we go. Up to 25 armor now. Uh, that's menacing. It would have been good, but I would really love warding or something like that. Ugh. Ugh. All right, what have we got? 36 defense! Don't mind if I do, man! <laughs> that's a really goddamn nice amount of defense for pre-hard mode. Hell yeah. I think that is going to really, really do us justice in terms of surviving uh, some more of this game. So, yeah. I'm very, very happy about that. I really, really am. Ooh, look at my ability to fly. How amazing is that? <laughs> right. So, I'm going to get you placed away and we're going to put away the stone as well. And I just quickly want to see, did we ever get any graph potions in the finish? Was that something we managed to get? Graph potions? Filter all? No, we don't have graph potions. Damn it. And I don't think we have the ability to make them either. Mm -hmm. Well... Huh. 
That is, uh, hmm, I don't know, man. I mean, we've taken down Goblin Army. We've got Crabulon coming up next. I mean, we could always give that a quick go at the very least. Now, I do believe if I head into here, I should be able to make uh, miscellaneous. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Decapodita Sprout. I don't know how many I can make. Two. Okay. So I can have two chances straight out of uh, trying to take down that guy, right? Trying to take down Crabulon. Uh, right, now then, where is the nearest mushroom biome? Uh, over here? I mean, wow, okay, this is... Wow. This is a big-ass mushroom biome. Good God. Like, we've got one here. We've got one here and one here. Like, if we're lucky, we could try and conjoin all three of them when it comes to hard mode, and then we have, like, a really easy chance of uh, being able to get ourselves truffle worms, right? Good God. All right, guys. So, I'm going to make myself a bunch of buff potions. We're going to head down. I'm going to put one of these away, as a matter of fact. <laughs> We're going to try and uh, see what we can do regarding Crabulon. All right, guys. So, going on from the lava waders, I just discovered, or more to the point, I remembered that I should actually be able to make myself the lightning boots. We've got ourselves an aglet here. We've got the uh, ice skates. Well, not the lightning boots. The frostbite boots. That's what I'm on about. Uh, so, I think there is a way of just making the anklet straight out, right? So, uh, what have we got? We've got 15 wood and then amethyst. Wow, okay, uh, that's actually pretty damn easy. So, if I just look through here, uh, all amethyst. We just need the one, buddy. Okay, uh, well, actually, if I just put that back in there. I keep forgetting I could just, like, craft this stuff, man. Right, so, I need to put some wood in here. So, 15, and believe it or not, that should be it, apparently. Ankle of the wind, ankle of the wind. Yep, 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 there it is. Craft, and then if I put all of this stuff in here... So, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, I should be able to now make myself some stuffs, right? There's the lightning boots, and there's the frost spark boots, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. We are looking good today, my friends. We're looking good today. We've got the frost spark boots on us now, my friends. Uh, it would be nice. Uh, Hasty's kind of nice, but I sure wouldn't mind either damage or, you know, either damage... Oh, or armor. That'll do. 39 defense is now the amount we have, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I've got a bunch of buff potions. We're just about ready to go. So let's head down underground. Let's see what we can do against Crabulon. And while we're making our way down there, just going on from the whole storage system thing, we've got Alexander Van Osnabrug, who says, Python, you need a connector. I think you get it from the mechanic. You can use it on the heart and then connect it to the remote access. You can put the storage boxes in a hidden spot and access everything remotely. And you can put the crafting grid next to it. Love the video. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much for the tip. That really actually does mean the world to me. So, yeah. We need to try and find ourselves the mechanic, I guess. And then from there, we should be able to get some cool things going. Cool. Okay. Uh, sadly, my rage meter isn't anywhere near full at this point. So we're not going to have that to our advantage. I think more than anything, I just kind of want to see what the uh, what the attack pattern of Death Mode Crabulon is going to be. Because at this point, I have absolutely no idea. So, you know, it's just good to do this just so we can find out. So, yeah, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, well here we are in the underground mushroom biome, we've just about made it and I've gone ahead and I've flattened, oh my word, that guy is massive, <laughs> we have flattened out the land, we've made it a bit smoother, I mean I could potentially go ahead and get rid of this top section, but I think it could offer us a decent amount of cover, so we're going to buff up, we're going to get ourselves two of these guys and ladies and oh good god he's right there, okay, hello, he's godly, okay, He's got a godly prefix. That's uh, that's always nice to see. Isn't oh, can we like not accidentally dash into him, please? That'd be fantastic. Stop dashing into him! Good lord above! What are you doing, bro? Okay, the dashing is uh, proving to be a bit of a detriment to our ability to survive. Ah, ah! Godly? Why do you have to be godly, bro? Oh my god! What am I even supposed to do? What can I do when he's godly, man? Oh, man, this is where the prefixes for enemies mod really does not come into its own. Um, yeah, this, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to even do at this point. The fact that he can shoot through walls is a little bit scary. He's not doing much damage to us, but, I mean, I just can't really do anything. Whoa. 
just did like a ton of damage to him. Oh, come on. Rage Meat is nearly there. Let's get ourselves a little bit of health up in here. There we go. I mean, if we can get Rage going at the very least, we might be able to do something. Just something, man. Come on. Come on. All right, he's like hardcore in our face at the moment. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, look at him. He's got 35,000 health pretty much. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ow. He's only doing like 10 damage, but he's doing a lot of 10 damage. Which is kind of the issue. But anyways, come on. It's not the end of the world. Not quite. As long as we keep our movement up, we're okay. <laughs> Maybe not, buddy. Maybe not. Come on, man. Come on. All right. Rage Meter is now full. Ow, 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 ow. Wait, what? Come on, keep it up. Oh, that did a nice amount of damage. But my inability to dodge... Oh, this is really difficult. I really wish he was a bleeding goblin. A uh, goblin? I really wish he, wishing he wasn't godly. Can I, like, just get away from him for a bit? Like, is that something I could do? Really don't like the fact he could just, like, stay there like that, man. Come on. I'm doing, like, next to no damage to him, bro. Absolutely insane. Right. Uh, whoop. I mean, we can have ourselves another one of them at the very least. I'm literally doing nothing to him at the moment. There we go. Oh, I really wish I had a Crimson Rod or something like that. Uh, ow! What the hell just did 110 damage to me? Did I just take full damage? I think I may have, actually. Derps were made. Ah! Uh -huh. There we go. Come on. Come on, Mr. Krabby! Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I should call you Mr. Krabs. That'd be kind of funny, actually. Hey, the adrenaline is going up. Now, according to Leviathan, uh, he commented in the last episode, apparently, if you don't, even if the adrenaline bar gets full and you still get hurt, the adrenaline bar will remain full. Like, it's just waiting for you to use it, basically. Ah, oh, and there it gets reset. God damn it, man. That's really freaking annoying. Ah. Oh. Mate, this is just an endurance fight more than anything. Good lord above, mate. This is going to take ages. I wonder how much health he actually has. I mean, 42,000 health is a little bit extortionate. But, you know, <laughs> I think we're slowly getting there with things now. Uh -huh. Ow! If we could slowly but surely somehow uh, get our adrenaline bar going, or maybe we can refill our rage bar, maybe we have a slightly better chance of doing this. But all in all, like... It's, it just comes down to an endurance fight. It really, really does. He's nearly at half health at this point. <laughs> if I take down a gobbledly Krabulon, you guys have to drop a like button, okay? But honestly, this is going to take a very, very long time. So I am legit thinking of doing a bit of a time lapse here. Because like I say, it's going to take ages. It's actually going to take ages. It's going to be nuts. Come on, boys. Let's do this thing. We're time lapsing it. Wow, okay. I seem to be... <laughs> He was kind of just stopped there for a minute. Hello. How you doing there, man? Ouchie. Oh, is he doing more damage as we go along? Hey, man, I'm not okay with that, bro. I'm not okay with that. All right, come on. Come on, boys. Let's get this time lapse going. Priority goal in next episode. We have, I mean have, to find or get grab potions. We need a freaking horseshoe. Can I make a horseshoe? Let's have a look. 
Okay, we can make it. How do we make it? We need to we need to find Yeah, okay, right. We need to find anyway a sky island in order to be able to make the thing. I can't believe that's the way we die though, bro. That's really that's that's uh yeah. That's maybe a little bit annoyed that has, but <sighs> then again, he was godly, so, you know, you could say that I didn't actually do all too bad there, all things considered. Uh, panic necklace, I mean, that's okay. I mean, we already have it, I think, so, yeah. Oh, but that's the way we went down to fall damage. Mate, we were we were able to stay alive for all of that time, and he was godly. We got him down to three quarters of health. Oh, all of my buffs ran out as well, which didn't really help matters in terms of surviving, so yeah. But anyways, guys, that does definitely give me hope for the next episode or the next time we take him down, as long as we have... In fact, what's that bounce potion? Wasn't there a potion that allows us to not take full damage? Uh, grants immunity to full damage. Oh my god. Well, that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. We'll make some bounce potions, and then we're going to bounce back down there. We're going to kick his ass, and then we're going to take some names. His one, and his death. So, yeah. Guys, I'm looking forward to it. I really, really am. We didn't do too bad, though, my friends. For a first look at Krabulon and the fact he was godly, we did not do too bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Be sure to drop a big fat thumbs up. If you did, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out future content, folks. And that's going to wrap it up for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.